Hello my friend, welcome to my channel. Today I've got Brave Steve a shutout and I'm going to do some advanced stamping with the Maniology MXM005. I've started off with um, Unt Peel Off Face Coat and here is Brave Steve shutout, beautiful white cream. We're going to go in with our first coat. And this is why I like this polish. It's so easy to apply. I don't make too big of a mess with this one. You guys that have been around know my love-hate relationship with white cream polishes. This one is one of my favorites for sure. There we go. I'm going to be sure to cap that free edge. Being all dainty about it and everything too, you know, just easy peasy. And here we go with our second coat of shutout. And this is going to make it fully opaque and... Um, you know, beautiful. <laughs> and y'all can see, I'm not a one, two, three swoop kind of person. I go over that rascal a whole bunch of times. I'm going to top it with the Fast and Hard from Vibrant Vinyls and get it to dry down before I head on to the next stage of this beautiful manicure. Yep, y'all are in. Got some good stuff in store for you. And there's that Maniology MXM005 I'll be using On the Black by Brave Steva, my Beauty Scraper, and a bunch of stampers. Just everything I could find sitting out on my table. I'm going to plop this image out on all of all five stampers. There you go. Look how pretty that is. And I'm going to be using Polish Salazar, the beautiful green. And I'm going to go in and fill in some of the leaves on this image with a cut down detailed brush. This is my skinniest, tiniest brush. I've had it forever. I have no idea where it came from. But I crimped the end and then I cut most of the bristles off of it. I'm covering in like definitely all the leaves. Uh, some of this, I don't know if it was leaves or part of the flower. I just started getting all crazy and coloring them in. But I tried to color all of them in the same. <laughs> you know, in some of these images, it's kind of hard to tell where the leaf ends and the flower begins. So, just do what you do. Just do it. So, there we go. Flip it over. Check it out. Looking pretty good. Now, I'm going to use Rowena. It's also from Polish. And I'm going to fill in the rest of this image. Now, Rowena is a unusual polish. I think for the most part all you're going to see on the video is the blue purpley look to it. But when I was playing with it in the sunshine on my breaks at work, <clears throat> there is a green flash in there too. And it's just so, so pretty. I, I just I love polishes like this. They just make me so happy. And I'm trying to be very careful. <clears throat> excuse me, and filling in this design. And I did have a bunch of them. That's why I'm only going to show you guys me doing one because um, <clears throat> I made five of these. And it took a little while, but, <clears throat> excuse me, it was worth every bit of it because I ended up wearing this manicure for almost a record-breaking five days. That's with a peel-off base coat. Can you believe that? I had a little trouble believing it myself, but um, I did. Five whole days. It was gorgeous, and I just, you know, some, some manicures are just hard to take off. I just hope that you guys like this one. Flipping it over, checking it out. How pretty. So, I'm going to use the Super Dry as my sticky base today. I know a lot of times I use that Get a Grip or, you know. But you can use just a clear polish. You just want to do a really thin layer. And then we're going to plop this decal on that nail. Tap it down. Make sure nothing's sticking up. And I'm going to go in with my cleanup brush with some acetone. And do my little tap across the end. And there we go. That one was really easy to clean up. This one was uh, just a good manicure from start to finish. Didn't have any real struggles with it. And I don't know what that yellow is under my nail. There's just no telling with this girl. 
I don't know what polish I had on before this. Doing some more tapping. So you definitely want to make sure that end is nice and smooth. I am going to use the Warm Pretty Smudge Free Top Coat over this because after all this work, I do not want this one to smudge and smear. So there we go. All right, and once that is completely dry, I'm going to top it off with my Fast and Hard from Vibrant Vinyls. Seal it all in and make it all glossy and shiny and gorgeous. But I really did love this manicure. I mean, I don't know how well it's showing up on film, but in real life, this one was just saying, Well, hi, Woody. How you doing? Look, he's back, y'all. So there it is. I got a swatch photo coming up here real soon. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about this one. I want to thank you for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon.